You want to know, is this woman a whore? And if she's a whore, G-Man, where is your proof? Because if you ain't got no proof, G-Man, you're slandering and you're just as bad as everybody else. <laughs>
Literally Davis fan member for five months. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. First of all, she lied in her very first couple of sentences. All right. Thank you. Tragic T. Welcome to dumpster fire team. Brittany. We love and adore you. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. All right. So she wants to blame me for not going live. That's some bullshit. Okay. We're going to get right into that right now, because the truth is what actually happened is that Monday before my stream, about 20 minutes prior, 30 minutes prior, she contacts me saying that she is devastated that somebody put out a video trying to dox her, blah, blah, blah. Again, had not watched anything, didn't know what was going on. I stopped everything to have a private conversation with her. And she's crying her eyes out. She's just inconsolable. And all I could understand was that she's upset that somebody was doxing her or some troll made a video or whatever. I didn't quite understand. I told her at that time, I had not watched whatever video she's talking about. I did not see anything, didn't know what she was talking about. And I was just trying to console her, just like I would con console anyone that came to me crying their eyes out, talking about how people are harassing them or doxing them, blah, blah, blah. Right. So then fast forward to Tuesday night, still had not had time because I don't know, I have a life outside of YouTube, didn't have time to like look into any of the video. I specifically asked her on Monday for a link to the video she's talking about. She never sent it to me. Right. I got no screenshots, no link from her, no nothing. Fine. So then Tuesday night, I speak to her again, and she's going on and on about uh, this video from the jerks. No offense to them. I had never heard of them. I had not watched the video. And I told her multiple times in that what hour, hour and a half conversation, multiple times I said this, that I didn't fully understand what was going on to, to really have a solid view on what this was. I was under the impression that she led me to believe by lying by omission, which in my book is lying, by the way, I was led to believe that it was some random people who had made this video and it came out of nowhere and that she was being doxxed and that she was afraid that all these people were going to harass her family and blah, 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 blah. And then I started asking hard questions. Well, why is it because she was like, oh, these people are, you know, they're going to call me a racist. And I was like, well, I don't understand. Like, why would people call you that? Oh, because I criticized this lawyer guy or whatever. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, that doesn't really make sense. And so I started pushing back and asking her for specifics. Give me specific examples of what they're saying is making you come across as racist. And then it was more crying, more deflection more bullshit, and then more of her, um, I mean, I wasn't going to say it, but somebody just said it on her panel. She was like, oh, I'm in hospice. I was like, are, are you fucking kidding me right now? And I'm thinking to myself, wow, that's really sad. I feel bad for you, but answer the damn question. And then she's like, I'm not racist. I'm not racist. I'm not racist. Kept repeating that, kept saying that, Oh, I would be devastated if, if you burnt toast thought I was racist. And so I'm like, well, I need to know what the fuck is going on. Like, I, I can't just be like, oh, and I was like, well, based on what I've seen on your heels channel, I haven't seen anything racist. So again, why are people saying this? What's going on here? And it was just like what you heard on the stream. That's probably still going on now. It was deflection and squirrel over here and over there like it was just details about this and that that had nothing to do with the topic and i was just like what the actual fuck the guy was so lost and then and that was in between her crying and all this and i kind of felt like that she was trying to manipulate me but i didn't say anything and i'm still like i don't know what's going on so wednesday i sat down and i was like okay i got some time today and i watched the jerks video and i watched um chronicles of the shady video and I found a link to her blog. And yes, I read the whole thing. And then I was like, oh, oh, now I get it. Now I get it. And she started emailing me and I didn't answer right away. 
And then when I did answer, I said, you lied to me. You lied to me about the racism shit. And you also lied to me about the autopsy photos leaking them. And it was, I never responded after that. It was email after email, after email, after email, raging in emails. And then finally, one of the last ones she did, and I hope you're listening, Heels. You admitted that you leaked those fucking pictures. And then you felt the need to send me a picture of that dead child. What the fuck? Why would you think that I would want that? Oh, but don't worry. I'm going to show you. Since she wants to call me a liar, and since she wants to say that I told her not to stream, because the truth is, when I spoke to her on Monday and Tuesday, I was still under the impression that this was just some random troll video. And what do you do with trolls? You ignore them. And so my advice to her was, hey, listen, just don't say anything. They're probably trying to get you to confirm or deny if this is really you or not. So Bullhorn Betty can sue you. So I just told her, I was like, don't, don't say anything. Don't go live because she was wanting to go live and she could barely compose herself. She was literally weeping, weeping. I could barely understand half the things she was saying. Oh, I'm not going to show the picture, but I will show the email. I have blocked the picture out. Don't you worry about that. I wouldn't show that shit on my channel. But that is why on Monday night and Tuesday night, I had told her, don't address it. And it was because I was under the impression that this was just some random troll video who was trying to fuck with her to get her to, you know, admit who she was or who she wasn't so that Bullhorn Betty can sue the fuck out of her. That's why I gave her that advice. But now she's trying to lie and twist that and be like, oh, yeah, it's to toast is the reason why I didn't go live, guys. Toast is the reason why I wasn't honest about what happened. No, bitch, you're not going to lie on me. That is not true. Because the second that I did found out, I emailed you and told you that you're a liar. And what was your response to me? To lie some more. And then you go live and try to shift the blame to me. Oh, no, bitch. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen. Damn, there's a lot of people. Fuck. Okay. Uh, Lori, welcome to the dumpster fire. I appreciate that. Tatted tech. Thank you. Excuse me. There is only room for one racist mod and we already have the glare. <laughs> I don't know why we need to dox and sue Frank now, right? It's just so crazy. Uh, McKenna, welcome to the dumpster fire. Thank you. That was sarcasm, by the way. So just because some people are like, oh my God, tatted tech. It's a laugh. Okay. It's funny. Get the 10 memberships. K. Bibels, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Tony D, you are truly classy. Thank you for being you, Toasty. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Team Brittany, we love and adore you. I don't know if I already said that, but thank you. I'm I'm sure that I'm missing comments, and I, I really apologize. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you, since she wants to call me a fucking liar, because there is something that I wanted to review as well. I mean, I don't, I, I don't make it a habit to show emails, okay? But you're going to call me a fucking liar and um, then, uh, yeah. So there is nothing in this email that is private. Her personal name is not on here. It says heels in the air. So this is not doxing. I don't even want to hear that shit. Okay, so she says, this is Wednesday, July 19th. You see that right there, right? She says, here's more on the autopsy photos and how I leaked them. Please read so that you might clearly, you might actually see the reason why some had to show the media and Ben Crump was blatantly lying. So here in this first, like, poorly written two sentences, she's admitting once that she was the one who leaked them, and two, she was doing it because she had some vendetta against um, Ben Crump. Right. Uh, thank you, Becca, a member for three months. I love you, Toast. Thank you. I appreciate that. The Mud Brooker, thank you. Toast is the source of all hardship and misery. <laughs> oh, my God. Mellow One, thank you. I really appreciate that. I um, remember for 23 months. Um, Team Brittany, get to 10 memberships. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Fuck, yeah. Um, after I show some stuff, I am going to be talking more to the audience. So, again, I apologize. I normally 
and very engaging with my audience. And this is just, I got to get this out. So, so then, like I said, the first sentence she says here on those autopsy photos and how I leaked them. Please read so that you might actually see the reason why some had to show the media and Ben Crump was blatantly lying. It's been so long I had forgotten that I leaked to Jackie Johnson's Twitter post instead of posting this one autopsy photo on the blog. Trigger warning. She posted this to Twitter to prove her son had been cut and hoisted down into the mats by two white boys and their FBI father. I'm racist for calling his insanity out and posting his clear back photo. Okay, okay. And then she sent me the picture of the minor child. Okay. Hmm. All right. All right. Thank you, Shauna B. Welcome to the dumpster fire. I appreciate that. Aunt B, thank you. Welcome to the dumpster fire. We need to slow the chat. Okay. Okay. Hey, doing that. All right. Well, okay. So um, another interesting thing that I thought, because not only did she go on to Dietz, uh, you know, she was in the chat when Dietz was streaming yesterday, but the second that she started talking, Bullhorn Betty was in the chat and Bullhorn Betty was like, yeah, I will be voluntarily dismissing heels in the air from the lawsuit due to the fact I have no jurisdiction over her. She'll be able to talk very soon. And then today he was like, oh, whoops, I'm not part of the lawsuit anymore. Wow. Um, I got questions on that. Celeste, welcome to the dumpster fire. I really appreciate that. Okay. So I'm going to review uh, this short thing that uh, Nunyan did because she says it so perfectly. And I'm obviously going to stop and give commentary and be showing further receipts as we go along. Uh, this sucks, to be quite honest with you. This really sucks. But heels, what have I always said on my channel? I have always said that even if it's one of my own mods who ends up doing some crazy fuck shit, that I was going to call it out. And you were always in the chat. Um, oh, love and respect, heart emoji. Did you think that you were going to get a pass? No. How am I supposed to call out Bullhorn Betty, Shani for Christ, and all these other people on my channel for doing racist things, saying, saying all this racist shit, for um, tragedy pimping, for making other people's tragedies about them and monetizing it. Like, how am I supposed to call all these people out and then have my one of my own mods do that? That is ridiculous. And I was really hoping that you would have gone live and been like, yo, like, that was 10 years ago. I'm a different person. I renounce everything in that blog. I don't mean that anymore. I've grown as a person. And if you had said that and apologized, I would have been like, okay, okay, we still need to talk about this. We still need to go through it. But I can at least, that that's something to rebuild on, right? But that is not at all what you did. Not at all. Team Brittany says, I'm so incredibly sad about this. Yeah, me too. It sucks. But uh, wrong is wrong, even if it's somebody that you used to like. Hence the title. Kim Wexler's ponytail, gifted five memberships. Thank you. I appreciate that. Ugh. Okay. So, yeah. So we're going to start reviewing this and go from there. Happy Wednesday. I'm not going to go through and say individual hellos because I want to get this out. Uh, I had to be held back from the live button yesterday. I'm glad that those who held me back held me back from it because it wouldn't have come out as gracious <laughs> as this is about to. All right. So let's get into it. Twisted gifted 10 memberships. Thank you, guys. Y'all don't have to do that. Thank you. I appreciate that. KB investigates. Welcome to the dumpster fire. I'm so disappointed. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of people disappointed. And you know, something else too. Like, I find it very interesting that she has been more concerned with damage control than just being fucking honest. She has been emailing rant. She's been emailing people behind the scenes, um, trying to pit each other against uh, other people. She's been doing all this like just childish fuck shit. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Did you, did you think that people were not going to come back to me and be like, 
uh, got this email and she's saying this and I'm like, oh, okay, hey, what? Because she's told me this over here. Like, just stop. Why did you need to do all of that? And the live, like I said, I was really hoping that you were going to, you know, take accountability for what you said and be like, I have grown as a person. I would never say those things now. And I've, I've changed my mind and I've seen the light or whatever. But no, you sat up there and defended those words, saying that all that stuff was still true. Girl, what in the world? I mean, please, it, it, believe what you want to believe, right? But say it with your whole chest. Don't be like, oh, well, I kind of believe this. Oh, but but guys, it's, you know, just constant excuses and deflection and shifting blame to other people. I cannot fucking believe that you started this entire live stream titled accountability. And the first thing out of your mouth was to blame me for why you didn't go live sooner. Bitch. No, no. Tony D, thank you so much. Wonderlust, much love, BT. I have so much respect for you. Thank you. This sucks. D, nicey, thank you. Welcome to the dumpster fire. I mean, for real, just be honest. Just be fucking honest. Because I think that there was a period of time early on that if you had been completely transparent and honest, there probably would have been a lot of people that would have, you know, said, okay, let's start from scratch. Let's go from here you know, but that's not what you did. And it was only after you saw that I was going live and then it didn't go well for you when Dietz went live and it didn't go well when none you went live and it was just not kind of working out for you. And then all of a sudden you go live. And the first thing you say was, oh, it's Toast's fault. Toast is the reason why I wasn't honest sooner. Shut the fuck up. For those of you who have no clue what I'm about to talk about, congratulations, and you'll catch up in about the next 48 hours, and then we can chat. No problems. Is she really in hospice? I have no idea. She's lied to me about so many things. I have no idea. But for her to fucking lie to my face, and when I start asking hard questions, her decision was to deflect by using hospice as a way to change the conversation. If she really is in hospice, that's even more disgusting that she would use some physical ailments that she's struggling with as a way to shut down a conversation when she doesn't want to answer why people are calling her a racist. For those of you who are already here, and I've already had an exhausting morning this morning, uh, being in other places, I get it completely. My first disclaimer is there is never going to be a day on this earth where I think that racism, racism, excuse me, is ever going to be acceptable. It is never going to be fact-based. I totally muted myself. Thank you. It's not fact-based. And just before anybody says, because there was already people commenting on my community post that clearly are fans of heels and that's fine, but calling out racism is not drama. So miss me with that bullshit. And anybody, and I do mean anybody who stands by and says that that is okay can go all what you can unsub from me. You cannot be my friend anymore. You can kick me out of your discord. Don't email me. Don't text message me. Don't nothing. There is never going to be a day where I am okay with those behaviors. I wanted so bad. I walked into that live stream this morning, hoping and praying that it, this was somebody who was so uneducated, and ignorant before that just woke up one day, had some type of epiphany experience and decided that that's not who they are anymore. And they found some love to put in their black little hearts. She is referencing Deets on the Streets stream. All of these things that I'm referencing, uh, the blog, Deets stream, uh, Chronicles of the Shady, the Jerks video, all of this will be linked in the description. Please do your own homework. Um, someone says, I'm sad about this. I was hoping for more honesty and some real accountability. I'm not sure about selective outrage, but wrong is wrong, not overt, but it's deaf there. Yeah, um, I would definitely, I'm going to speak for myself. They know uh, selective outrage here. I've always been very clear that um, 
if I, I would call out my own mods the same way that I would call out all these other people that I review. Why she thought that she had some kind of, um, if she was going to get some kind of special treatment is beyond me. And to also be very clear, um, there were so many people that came to her behind the scenes that gave her ample opportunity to tell the truth. In fact, I found out that the people who did the video on the Jerks channel um, actually emailed her before they posted that video to not only get give her a heads up and an opportunity to, you know, go live and explain before this comes out, but also an opportunity to um, give them a statement. They didn't have to do that. And apparently that was so offensive to her. And it's like, you would think that if she was, if the shit was hitting the fan and she was getting to the point where, okay, these people are about to out me for this racist blog that I have, um, <laughs> you would think that she'd be like, well, may, I think I'm going to go live and say, listen, this is, this was me 10 years ago. I, I denounce what I said. Blah. You would think that she would do that, but no, it was, she basically told them to fuck off. So they, they posted it. And I have to say there was nothing about the video that was based in emotions. It was not biased. They showed receipt after receipt, after receipt, after receipt. I can't hate that. I have a lot of respect for people who make videos that are just real there it's real receipts and it's not um you know poorly edited things to skew something or take something out of context it was actual proof and the fact that even after that video has come out she's still sitting here and being like oh yeah you know they're liars and, and that's not true it's not true it's not true it's not true it's just i cannot i cannot could some one of my mods post nunya's channel link in my chat that would be great i appreciate that okay but it turns out that's not the case they stand by what they did what they said and the shit that they covered now i don't agree with the other thing i don't agree with is i don't agree with other people held accountable a lot of you may not know right I, I, i'm gonna be honest for months People have come and said, have you seen this, right? They only said the name. I know somebody who went to them in private, went to her in private and said, is this you? Like, this is out there. What's going on? That's not me. Complete denial. And we moved on from there. They said we trusted the amount of disappointment that so many people feel in this community right now is astounding. And when you stood next to, sat next to, were on panel with, commented with, encouraged, you know, we, we, we share subs, we do all those things with you. Unfortunately, we believe that you're like us, that you want to do right by families of victims. And it turns out you were a tragedy pimp. And I don't even know if you still aren't because yeah. who knows if you have another blog out there under a different name that you're doing the shit under. Thank you, Team Brittany. People are people. God made us all. This makes me sad. It's it's pretty messed up. And there were those that were like, oh, well, you know, I think it was somebody the other day. They were like, oh, well, you know, you should have known about this. No, 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 no. And I think Nanya even talks about this, too. And I think the jerks, when they were on Deet's panel yesterday, also talked about this. The information that was originally going around about this blog, okay, or about this supposed person that was connected to Heels, this was all coming from JLR. JLR is a liar, okay? We all know what he does, and I know what he has done personally to my friends. I know what he's tried to do to my channel. If anything's coming from him, I'm not going to look at it. And if you can't understand that, I don't know what else to tell you. That's why I appreciated the fact that the jerks actually did their own research instead of just reposting everything that JLR posted. Because I'm sorry, but JLR has zero credibility on this platform for a lot of different people. He certainly does not have credibility with me. 
This is the same guy who lied about creating my avatar, which was somebody else's art, and then false struck my channel 19 times in the effort to force me to change my avatar just to be a fucking dick. Didn't work out for him. The strikes came off. YouTube told him to kick rocks. But still, that is not somebody that I'm going to get information from because he has been proven a liar over and over and over again. So you can also miss me with that. Let's go, Brandon. Thank you. Welcome to the dumpster fire. Nobody fucking knows at this point. It's terrible. It is fucking gross. I spent last night going through the blog. And if you have not done your own research, please do not take my opinion as your own. That is not what I'm asking you to do, nor do I want you to do it. I am encouraging every single person before you go out and you defend anybody's actions, before you go out and you say, well, I don't think we should be doing this because they've been a really nice person to me. Go do your own research. I second that. That's why I'm going to be putting all the links to all of these things Watch and make up your own mind. And if you disagree with me, that's fine. But do your own homework before being like, oh, well, she seemed like a good person. It literally made me ill, physically ill, to read some of the stuff on the website that I seen. And she stood by that today. So we're going to look at some of her blog posts. Uh, Kate, thank you so much. Silver lining seems like most unity in this community in a while. Uh, I mean, it sucks that that has to happen. I hope it remains. I have my doubts, but yeah. Um, Lorraine, thank you so much. Welcome to the dumpster fire. So the first thing we're going to look at, since she wants to claim uh, that she doesn't say, let me see, which one should I pick first? Hmm. Let's see. Is it this one? No, I think I'm going to do the open letter. Oh, this is the one. Yep. This is the one. So she decided uh, May 26, 2013 to write an open letter to the mother of a murder victim. The victim being Trayvon Martin. Okay. This was part of her blog, okay? She says, um, <clears throat> quote, Trayvon did not deserve to die, and she put that in quotes, but honestly, he did deserve to be raised better, and no starting a fight could well get him killed by people who didn't get the environment he came from. Just going to throw this out there. Um, if Bullhorn Betty had said this, do you think that I would call that out? That would be a yes. So why would I not call this out when I find out that it was one of my, my own mods? And if you're wondering, she lost her mod. Oh, like this second that I started reading this blog, I was like, oh, hell no. Oh, it gets worse. Way, way worse. Okay. Um, it's pretty bad. A lot of it's really bad. Let's see. Here she is talking directly to the mom. Uh, she says the mom's name. I'm not going to put that lady's name on blast, but she put, says the mom's name. You stood at a podium once and said, quote, they killed my son and now they're killing his reputation, end quote. Is this blanket, it's, it is this blanket accusation and denial of responsibility or knowledge of your own son that infuriates many. In this way, you used they as if killing your son was a conspiracy by a group of people, no doubt white people. Hey, um, just a question, Heels. I thought you said in your stream just now that your blog had nothing to do with race. It seems like every single post that I was reading, and I read all of it, by the way, you go out of your way to make it a race thing. That was my observation. Team Brenton, you thank you so much. This is making me so sick. I really am struggling with this. Thank you, Toasty. Uh, yeah, let me tell you, this is not fun for me. I am not getting any enjoyment from this. All right. 
I am not. Um, she goes on to say, um, talking about Trayvon Martin, it's about a teenager who was looking for a world star hip hop fight and ran into a man who didn't know what the hell hit him. And there's all kinds of like references, just like Nunya said on her stream tonight. Nunya hit the nail on the head and asked her the question that I've been trying to get heels to answer this entire time. Um, heels goes on. One thing I believe in my heart of hearts is that you both know the truth in your heart of hearts. And so do the upstanding. So do the upstanding thing, not the crump sharped and self-serving thing. Trust me, Trayvon's legacy will be tarnished as Tawana Brawley and Crystal credibility if you do not take control of it now. What has come out, Trayvon may turn out to be inadmissible in a court of law, but he was real. He His misguided aspirations were real, and I believe the true cause of his demise. His wish to be a gang banger thug, or I'm sorry, gangster thug. Heels, I thought you said in your stream tonight that you weren't calling black people thugs and gangsters. Okay. All right. So she goes on again. She's speaking to the mother of a victim here. The mother of a murdered child. She says, quote, damage control is needed now. Moving forward, I hope you will look with other parents and find a way to fix the street violence so that RIP t-shirts and buttons are the exception in places like Miami-Dade, Detroit, and Chicago instead of the norm. And there's a lot that I didn't even actually say. It's really long. And this screenshot is only a small portion of what she actually wrote. And so the whole time she's live tonight, I'm like, I, I cannot believe... She's sitting here acting like we're all stupid and can't read this for ourselves. I, I, I don't even know what to say <laughs> at this point. I, I don't understand when people lie about things that are so easily proven otherwise. I don't understand that. Thank you, Petal. Remember for one month, this letter is terrible. It's terrible. I don't care who you are. You write an open letter to a parent like that? You're a piece of shit. That is not cool. I don't care who you are. Chap Tass, member for four months. Thank you so much. Precious things. Thank, welcome to the dumpster fire. Thank you. Some people told her to go back and read her blog. She never said she would do it. Mm. Oh, you're welcome, Miss Lovely. So, yeah, there's more. Let me see. Here's one post that she did in October of 2013. The name of the actual article was, I think, twerking is the new African dance or it was something like that. It was pretty disgusting. And then in this uh, particular blog post, she says, by the way, in what African village did they learn to swing from poles, smoke and stuff money in their G-strings? Did they also whistle while they twerked? I'd post the words to this yin yang song. Wow. But they are too degrading to women, even women like Rihanna, to repeat. Hopefully whistling was not part of the street kids dance. What? What? Wow. Wow. And if you go up further, she says strippers have been shaking their money makers for centuries and most have been have never been to Africa, nor have they seen the video you source African street kids dancing to learn this traditional African art of twerking. Nice try, though. Wow. OK. <laughs> Kelly, thank you. Welcome to the dumpster fire. I appreciate that. But she said she never harassed a victim's family and then asked about being tragedy pimp. Right. Uh, yeah. So here's another whole layer, whole layer to this bullshit, guys. 
So there are now people coming to me who were around back in the day on Twitter who saw her tweeting and trolling these victims, these uh, the victims' families on Twitter. And I'm just like, you are just like the people that I already review. I, I just, I'm still trying to wrap my brain around the fact that she tried to make this. Well, it's just a blog about Ben Crump. Really? Because it seemed like most of the blog was you bitching about how you were claiming that some guy was not actually black. And like, if you do any amount of research, you can see that the mother had a relationship and that's where the gentleman was born from. And then she later got remarried to a white guy. So heels, you know, the person who doesn't like doxing, dox the fuck out of his entire family, put his birth certificate on there and everything. For what? For what? All so that she can prove that her, that uh, the stepdad is white. Like, I don't understand. That is ridiculous. Um, independent thinker saying, thank you so much. She said out of her own mouth tonight, quote, it was never about the victims. I heard her say that too. She doesn't see these people as people, white supremacists never do. I definitely heard her say it's not about the victims or it's never about the victims. She said it was about Ben Crump. And I'm like, that's not what your blog says. I don't understand how she thought she could hide this when she was actively targeting JLR. She had to know he would dig it up. A great point. Great point. Wow. Yep. So that's, those are just a few of her blog posts. Saying that it was fact-based. Fuck you disrespectfully. Never. Never will I ever. You could go 10 years back, 20 years back, 30 years back, 40 years back. And never, ever, ever have I ever stood by racist um, stereotyping comments. We all have our prejudices, so I, I'm not going to say that. Lisa said it best earlier. She's prejudiced against stupid people. So am I. We all have our prejudices, and I'm not judging that. What I'm judging is your actions. And with all the hope in my heart, this morning I went into that chat hoping that you would absolutely be like, look, that's some old shit I did 10 years ago. I'm not that same person. I hope you guys would know that. I, I, that's not my experience with you right now. But now, as I'm looking back, all these things are like, fuck, did I ignore these red flags? Why is it that I absolutely continue to not see people for who they are when they're showing me right in front of my fucking face? And then you feel like a fucking idiot. You feel like you've been lied to. You feel like you've been supportive of this person and you speak well of this person because they have the same character and morals and authority or not authority, integrity that you do. And lo and behold, the mask fucking falls off and you are the same fucking person that you were 10 years ago. That's correct. And if her stream tonight is not further proof of that, I don't know what else you need. She flat out told people that she still believes the things she was up there defending the things that she was saying. She was saying things like, <clears throat> you know, repeating some of the things that she had said in her blog 10 years ago and repeating it tonight in her stream. Um, she put in a big mask. Yeah, she, she was definitely wearing a mask. <clears throat> but I mean, if you like myself and many other people, if you only knew her from her Heels in the Air YouTube channel then it's like all you know was from her content on that channel, right? Like this, this is just insanity to me. This insanity. That is absolutely fucking horrid. To deny who you were, who you are. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe every creator 100% deserves to have their anonymity. But when who you are is connected to some fuck shit, how are you a tragedy pimp calling out fucking tragedy pimps? Make that make sense. 100%. And this is another straw man argument that she's been pushing out that somehow, um, you know, I'm mad at her or people are mad at her because 
um, you know, people know her real name or supposedly know her real name or whatever. That is not what the argument is here. Somebody who tries to protect their personal information to protect their children from the weird people on this platform. I ain't got no problem with that. I do that. I protect my family and my job and the rest of my life from the weird people on this internet. So I do not put my personal information out there, but that is not what we're talking about here. I don't have a blog from 10 years ago. I don't have a blog at all. And I certainly do not have a blog that's racist and attacking victims and their families. That is what people are mostly upset about, heels. Brianna, thank you so much. My story is more compelling to her when Michael Brown than Michael Brown's, but it's not mine. It's my son's, and it's part of Michael Brown's. That implies, I think it does, doesn't it? And that ain't good. I agree with you. And I'm also starting to wonder, hmm, uh, heels, was I like some kind of token for you? Because I've had other conversations with content of people of color who are content creators on this platform, and they kind of feel the same way. But I'm not going to speak for them. I'm only going to speak for myself. And I'm kind of feeling like this whole time you were like, hey, uh, I'm not racist, Toast. If you were to ever think I was a racist, I would be devastated. And you would just like, you were just saying this. And I'm like, why are you saying this? Why would somebody call you racist? And so now I'm like, okay, was the thing that you were doing is like, oh, well, they can't call me racist because Toast likes me. I hope that I'm wrong about that because that's, that's pretty messed up. And when you go through that website, for those of you who choose to do your own research, when you go through that fucking website, I want you to notice that every fucking blog post is it about an African-American child who died by some type of violence or, well, we'll just say they died, period, right? And every single one of them blames the parents, says the parents aren't acting the right way, um, says that the kids were in gangs, so what did you think was going to happen? Um, said, oh, every single fucking article, except for one, you know what the one fucking article is? The one fucking article about a blonde hair, blue eyed white girl. Oh, that article is, oh, this lady tragically lost her life while out on the night on the town with her friends. And her family needs support. And if you can donate, hit the button up top on the right-hand side. Yeah, so when she, and Nanya's absolutely correct here, because I looked through all of this myself. It was very interesting that it was like the one white person, she was like, oh, this poor thing. Oh, a victim. And then, excuse me, and then everybody else who were black children, she was like, oh, they were thugs. And they were in the wrong place. And the mother should have raised them better and... You know, they're sagging their pants and look at them twerking. Oh, my God. I mean, it was just really kind of in your face. Bitch, please. Your mask has fallen. I have absolutely no fuck, like no regards for it. I do not agree with anybody else being blamed for this because a lot of us, and I do mean a lot of us, have spent the last 48 fucking hours going through a lot of emotions, a lot of disappointment, a lot of frustration. We've been lied to for 48 hours. Like we have gone through a lot of shit in 48 hours. And I promise you, I don't. I don't speak on something unless I have seen it for myself. I have literally tried so hard. First couple of articles come out. No, nah, that's from JLR. I'm not paying, I'm not paying no fucking mind to that shit because we all know how he gets down. No mm -hmm. problems. And that's exactly why myself and like literally everybody felt the same way. Can I please get a link to that site? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll put it in the description and I will also um, uh, probably either email you or DM, DM you. No problem. Um, it's not being gullible to believe people who pretend to be good, bad people hide their true selves all the time. That's on them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you cannot control what other people do, but once you know and it's in your face and you've confirmed that it's true, how you react is something that you can control. Yeah, no problem, Tiger. Moving right along. Kept going from there. Didn't think nothing about it. 
Then the circle jerks video came out and I was like, wait a second. Now they're onto something. I need to actually look at this. I need to pay attention to this. I need to start looking at this. So some people, and I'm not naming any names. Some people are so focused on, but that's not who I know her to be right now. You're right. Mm -hmm. Right. But have you been fooled before? Because I think a couple of people have fooled us in the past. I mean, I've only been here a year and I know for sure. No shade at all with all the shade. Flavor fooled the fuck out of me a long time ago. And I've been on live stream after live stream during that time getting fooled over and over and over while she lied to our faces and then turned around later on and figured out, fuck, she lied to us. Fuck it. Let's wash our hands. You go do you on your channel. I'm going to stay over here. We're going to be all good, right? But this, this right here, this hits different. This isn't you just told a lie. Right. You continue to lie over and over and over. You tragedy pimped against victims of families. And let me stop right there. Again, that email that I showed is important because this whole time, Heels has been saying that she did not leak those photos. This is what happened. The family had the autopsy photos. This was a minor child, by the way. The family did not want the pictures out, obviously. Uh, heels leaked them. I showed you the email where she admitted that she did it. And... And then afterwards, the family was so upset that they decided to make, I've heard other people say this before, that they basically tried to make lemonade out of lemons. And so they used the picture, put it on flyers and said, here, this is what somebody did to my baby. And I don't blame them for that. They have every right to do that. But it's like, you know, <laughs> I'm calling out born Betty for talking about how she may have wanted to get the autopsy photos of Kylie Rodney, but she can't remember whether she did it or not. And then you have Zav girl and Tasha Cooper and these other people that are trying to do this really crazy nonsense to families because they care more about entertainment, their ego and their wallet than they do about the family's wishes of their own child's photo and here you have heels doing the exact same thing exactly on tonight's live she said she didn't leak them yeah i know she said that she has she sent me emails yesterday also claiming that she never leaked them that one email that i responded to her i was like you lied to me you leaked those photos and it was like i didn't leak them you're I didn't do that. You're not listening. Da, 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 da. And then later she sent me that email saying, oh yeah, I leaked them and this is why I did it. I, I can't explain why there seems to be two different people with her. But she 100% did. I mean, families of victims, excuse me. You absolutely chose to attack people of color's families during their darkest times. And while I held out hope that you would say, nah, that's not me anymore. Today, you said everything I said was not opinions. It was an opinion based on facts. Fuck you all the way to Tuesday next week. Absolutely not. Again, never going to be a day where I can get down with racist things said, racist things done. And, and there's a lot of people who are like, well, that's just her opinion. I'm not sure if you should really feel that way because she was just giving her opinion. Okay, well, fuck her and her opinion then. For real. Because as a mother of kids who are people of color, my kids don't get to live in the same world while you get to have opinions and shit. Mm -hmm. It's just not okay. And anybody, and I do mean anybody, anybody who decides to defend these actions, you can, I can guarantee you, you're going to see the deuces from me. 
you're going to absolutely see the deuces from me because I cannot stand by this. It's so beyond disappointing. It makes you feel like, you know, you, you, we're all kind of in this community together. We all kind of share subs from here and there, whatever. Right. I'm sad to realize that I personally was not surprised by any of this. I have become desensitized to YouTube creators with a few exceptions. Yeah, most definitely. But you feel like in a community, right, in a community in air quotes, that you all are like-minded, open thinkers, independent thinkers. You're able to look outside of the box. And I'm a pretty fair person. Twins, welcome to the dumpster fire. I appreciate that. <clears throat> How does it feel to know y'all were besties with the racists yet? Yeah, see, just to be clear, people on YouTube are not my besties. Okay. They are internet friends, I guess. But no offense, but this is not my life. YouTube is not my life. And I understand that people see YouTube in different ways and that's okay. But for me, YouTube is a hobby. I am not on here every single day. So there is never going to be a time where my bestie is going to be on YouTube. I have besties IRL, just so that you know. But again, she was someone that I liked and I respected someone that I thought she knew or thought that I knew. And like I said, the second that I actually got a link to the blog and I read it, I was like, no, no, no. No, I cannot deal with this. Nope. I've tried for 48 hours to, to try to not see what was right in my face. And I tried so hard to deny that this was the truth. Shout out to Chronicles of the Shady. The video that they did yesterday put the nail in the coffin for me. Not only did they link it so that, so that people could see the clip, Thank you, <laughs> the good Nanya. I have parasocial friendships with people here. That's all I got to give. I mean, right. I mean, you can't really be besties with people on YouTube when you don't even really know them. I mean, that's just how I see it. So I, that's just, there's no way that I would ever get to that level of intimacy in a friendship with anyone on YouTube because you don't really, at the end of the day, know who they are. But they turned around and they gave you the clip to the live stream. So you could go watch the full online, not just a clip of it, the full on live stream. I seen somebody today. Well, we all know what AI technology can do. Maybe they clipped it. Maybe they changed her, uh, changed the sound of her voice to it. No, ma'am. It is a live stream. And the clip of it is in their, in their description of their video. Mm -hmm. Chronicles of the Shady did that shit. I, I'm, I'm absolutely like, I, I'm, I think that's amazing. I feel terrible for the people who called her friend. I have not, you know, I have not called her a friend. I just have been cool with her in the community. I didn't have a problem with her up to this point. So that's not where this is coming from. But I do feel bad for those who called her a friend. For those who truly are hurt and disappointed today, I'm sorry that this has happened to you. The issue here, again, is less to do about her trying to protect her identity. I do not fault her for that. Um, obviously, I'm a piece of toast on the internet, right? I'm not going to be putting all my personal business out on Front Street. However, that to me is not what I'm hearing from people as the issue here. The issue here is the racist blog. The issue here is the fact that she has been a tragedy pimp doing the same things to these families that she has been making videos about others doing. The trolling families on Twitter, the racist ass memes, the going after victims' families. Like, I cannot. Like, the autopsy photos. Like, are you kidding me? It's all the things that a tragedy pimp would do. And was her channel monetized? No. But you're going to tell me that she didn't get PayPal's or Cash App's? Just saying. Brick with eyes, member for 13 months. I'm more shocked at her defense of it than anything. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, huh? And the more she talked tonight, I was like, oh my God, girl, just shut up. You are digging yourself a deeper and deeper hole at this point. Because again, all she had to have done 
is owned it. Be like, yeah, I posted this. this is terrible. I should have never said it. I don't stand by it. I'm a different person now. Blah blah blah. That's all she sh- that that's she should have started with that. Not getting so defensive. And then when somebody joins the panel and was trying to educate her and let her know that her so-called facts from her blog actually weren't correct and very biased, she was talking over them and interrupting them. I don't take real friendships from grand granite. <laughs> right. That's really funny. She brushed her off. She absolutely did brush her off. And then when somebody else tried to go up there and talk to her and correct something, I don't remember who it was. It was early on in the stream. Um, she was like, I don't want to get into that right now. Uh-huh. That's what your stream was supposed to be about, was getting into the fact that you were spreading misinformation about these cases. You were harassed. You were like making fun of these victims and their families, posting racist ass memes saying these kids are thugs and they deserved it. Like, are you kidding me? And you don't want to get into it. That's the whole thing that everybody's upset about, Heels. She can't own it if she's still believing her own bullshit. Uh, well said. Well said. Aussie, Trisha, thank you so much. Mad respect for you always. I'm sorry for all those hurting. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it sucks. Um, when she posted the community post asking what people wanted her to take account accountability for, I knew then it was absolutely pointless. If you need told, that's a huge problem. Yeah. Um, I got a screenshot of that too. See if I can find that. Cause I was like, are you kidding me? I don't have that on here, but, um, but yeah, she, you can go to her channel. It's still on there where she's like, what am I supposed to take accountability for? Wow. Okay. That pretty much tells everybody what your live stream is going to be about. Another great point. Yeah, it is a great point. I, I truly am sorry. The subs have been lost. Creators have been lost. How can a creator come out here and speak on something when they don't even know how they themselves feel? It's terrible. It's so terrible. And I don't care what anybody says. That shit is foul. Hiding videos, sarcastic remarks, standing by what you did. That's not the way to handle it. Let me, let me tell you, if anything comes up from your past, I'm going to give this, this suggestion to everybody. I don't have shit like that. Well, why do you hide your name? Because people on the fucking internet are crazy and they like to call jobs and call CPS and shit like that. It's not that serious to me. This is a fucking hobby that I happen to get online Thank every you. now and then give my fucking opinions about shit. That's why it's not that serious to me. Same. Same. So, again, miss me with the bullshit because I'm, I'm already seeing people on Twitter tagging me. Oh, well, JLR posted this 10 months ago. Again, JLR doesn't have any credibility around here. <laughs> if it's coming from him, I am not going to look at it, considering he was behind a lot of fuck shit on my channel and a lot of other people's channel. So until it had come out with from people that actually do have credibility, who did their own separate research... I wasn't going to look at it. You know how many times people send me stuff and I look at it, I'm like, this is not true. It's all bullshit. It's poorly edited. It's taken out of context. I get that shit all the time about people. However, there is, there's a lot of people who are hurt today and that, hurts me. Those people who are hurting are my friends. Some of them are my friends. And that makes me sad for them. But you know what makes me sadder is the fact that these families have had to fight against a woman who thought it was her absolute fucking right to harass the fuck out of them. And if it was a Betty, if it was a Molly, if it was a Laura, if it was a Dolly, y'all would have never even fucking stopped to question that information. So I am going to push back on that because there are things that people have sent me about all the people that I have made videos about. And I have later found out that it either wasn't exactly true all the way or I could never really confirm it. And so that I don't go live with it. 
So I do take the time to give all the people that I review the benefit of the doubt. And if I can't actually prove it, if I don't have a video of them saying it, a screenshot, something, I'm not going to go live and say it. So I, I will push back on that. Yeah, I, I see you, Nanya. It's all good. Y'all would have snatched that shit up and ran the fuck away from it. It's, it, it's sad. I mean, it is what it is, but it's sad. It's sad. A lot of people take this YouTube shit so serious. So blank screen, here's my thing. I don't feel like I take YouTube seriously. Um, I do take people's racism seriously. I do take the fact that there are victims of families going through tragedies and they have to deal with the harassment that comes from YouTube. That I take seriously. After that, yeah. it pretty much ends for me. Same. Same. Everything she just said. I believe the fact that her blog is still up says she has no regrets. Oh. Oh, it's not just that. It is not just that. In fact, people have looked up and looked it up and found that it's saying it's still active. And then there was other people saying, well, sometimes it'll say it's still active because, you know, the site will update. And so it will make it seem like that there's still activity on the blog when really there's nothing. But guess what somebody sent me today? They sent me the actual thing where it shows the domain. And I will show you. I blurred out the parts that have personal information. Okay. So this is for renewsit.com, registry domain ID. And I cross that out. And it says domain active. And it names the, the three name servers. And it says it was updated July 2nd, 2023. What you are looking at here is proof that on July 2nd, 2023, she paid money to keep those domains active. Now, if she comes back and say, oh, well, it's an automatic debit. Okay, fine. Why is it still an automatic debit? I've been told that it was scrubbed from what was there. Um, I don't know about that. All I know is that there was a period of time where the blog was locked down. It was private. So goes to my point again, those people that are now saying, oh, well, you should have looked at this 15, you know, 10 months ago, whatever. Apparently back then the blog had been shut down and it was on like invite only. There were other people on Deets panel that were talking about this as well talking about how they had tried to get into the blog and it was saying that it was private and you couldn't get in unless you actually asked her for an invite. At some point, I don't know when, because the first time I actually clicked on the link was yesterday. Yesterday, when I clicked on it, it was fully open. So I don't know when exactly it was taken off of private, but it is now no longer private. So that's how Nunya was able to read it. I was able to read it and many, many others were able to read it. So again, this is further proof that she clearly doesn't want to let go of the blog and the racist things that she said, because she's still up. She's still paying for it to be the do domain to still be hers. And it clearly says there that it was July 24th, 2012, that was created. And it was last renewed July 2nd, 2023. So that's, what, 18 days ago? So 18, think about this, 18 days ago, before all of this happened, she was renewing the domains for that blog. McCaw, Mama, thank you so much. BT, I just got here and heard whispers because I loved heels from what I started to watch YouTube. And I knew if I wanted the truth, you are who I could trust. So thank you. I am, I am not infallible, okay? I am not above reproach. Um, I will probably make mistakes like everybody else. But this is, this here, this is not a mistake. This is willful. You're welcome, Tiger Talks. You're welcome. 
This is more a mistake. It's like, oh shit, it says something I wasn't supposed to say. And then you never, ever say it again. This is willful. So this is, this was really just, I got, actually got this this afternoon. So yeah. So apparently it's under a proxy protection LLC. So I don't know. I didn't understand this. So uh, it does this mean, I don't know. Please tell me, does this mean that she's now part of an LLC as well? It's just, it's a, it's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> And I, I'm feeling like there's a lot more to this story than we even know right now. There would be so many more receipts had all of her accounts not been banned on Twitter. Thank you for reminding me of that, because that's another lie that she's been telling. Another lie has been that, oh, I lost my Twitter account because uh, Sean King was getting me suspended for falsely accusing me of racism. Because that is the explanation that she gave me when I started asking questions. And what the reality is, is that she was using, I think there's four different Twitter accounts that were suspended. Here's one. Here's another. Well, that has her real name on. I'm not going to post that one. And then here's another one. And then there's a fourth one with her actual real name on it. They, these were all four suspended because she was trolling victims' families. She was harassing people and taunting them. And what she did after she leaked the autopsy photos of that child, thank you, uh, scientific step, I welcome, thank you so much. Um, after she leaked those autopsy photos, she then started harassing the mother, saying, I need to... Um, you need to talk to me about this. You need to talk to me about this. That's pretty disgusting. Um, there's something that I missed. Uh, Heels quote about black residents of STL quote, they all need to load up and move to another country someplace where they tolerate heathens. Iran question mark, even their homeland of an, of Africa would kick their asses out. End quote. I want to put that on the screen. Just give me one second. I hate how StreamYards does this. Oh, here we go. This right here. This is from her blog. Again, don't take my word for it. Don't take Good Egg's word for it. I'm going to be putting the links and you can go read it for yourself. This is what she was defending in her stream today. And then she turns around and says, oh, guys, I have no idea why people call me racist. It's crazy. It's crazy. So, of course, my indigenous ass is like, wow, um, what are you saying about indigenous people behind the scenes? I'd love to hear your opinions, heels. I mean, I mean, my God, own it. If you feel this way, that's fine. You have the right to feel this way. But say it with your whole chest. I like my racists out in the open where they're, you know, waving their racist flags without any kind of hesitation. But yeah, that's probably why people are calling you a racist, Heels. That's probably why. Talking shit about each other. Um, you said this. No, you said this. No, you lied about this. That shit, I don't take that shit seriously. That's just, that. It, to me, that's the entertainment. That's the drama side of it. I don't really care about that. I don't care about that at all. Yeah, it is 8675309. Uh, I always <laughs> want to sing it, so I have to stop myself. Thank you, skeptic. I appreciate that. Good to see you. The blog is disgusting. It is. And the fact that this morning she stand by it, that is just, man. Mm, 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 mm. I can't. And to me, I, somebody in the chat was like, well, why do you guys feel like she owes you an apology? I don't feel like she owes me shit. 
Yeah. She doesn't owe me at this point. She doesn't owe me shit. Mm-hmm. She doesn't owe me an explanation. She doesn't owe me a hello, goodbye, mm-hmm. a fuck you. Like she doesn't owe me shit. Right. And that's why one of the many reasons why I didn't just join her panel today. I already had a panel scheduled. I wasn't going to just all of a sudden like do my audience like that and be like, oh, and hey, guys, let me just cancel this or make people wait even longer because Heels wants me to go on her panel. No, 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 no. No, she don't owe, exactly. She don't owe me shit. I'm not looking for anything from her. At this point, I am done. I'm done. Because I tried to talk to her privately. I tried to go to her again in private, tried to go to her again in private. And then she's still going to go live and do this fuck shit publicly. Nah, 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 dog. I'm good. She owes that family something. But, you know, she's standing on it. So we already know that's not going to happen. BGB, yes. So yes and no. She won't say that it's her, but she'll speak to the contents yep. of the blog. Mm-hmm. So there's that. Absolutely not. As she definitely does owe the, the family an apology. So and she absolutely does. If, if anybody is owed an apology, it is all those families that she hurt for all those years. That apparently she still thinks very badly of because she's still defending what she wrote in that blog, even as or as late as like an hour ago. So she absolutely does need to apologize to those families. At the very least, especially the families that she was trolling on Twitter, um, that she was, you know, writing that open letter to. It's just so disgusting. That's what I came on to say. Um, I felt like I... Wanted to hit the live stream button last night, but I was like, you know, I, I feel like I need to hear from her. I feel like, you know, people do change. They absolutely, they do change. Who I, and, and I think everybody in the chat would say it. Who you are today, is that who you were 10 years ago? Five years ago? 15? 20 years ago? Because I would say I'm not the same person today that I was five years ago. Hell, I'm not even the same person I was three years ago. Same. You know, as, as people, we should be evolving to try and be the best version of ourselves at all times. So absolutely, 100%, like I'm not the same person. So I can I can give you credit for that. But today, you said you stood on it. You stand by what you did. You stand by that content that's out there. You stand by the words that you said. And that is why I can't get down with it anymore. I'm good. I see your comment. I see. <laughs> I see your comment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I feel the same way. Like everybody makes mistakes. And if this was one of those things where, because like Nanya, um, I know myself, I have met people who used to be, ha- be very ignorant in their thoughts. They were very prejudiced against different groups of people and they Learn better and they did better. I have I have known people, I know people who are no longer that kind of a person. And they're very transparent. Yeah, 20 years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, I was trash. I thought this thing about this group of people over here and I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? So that can absolutely happen. But that is not what's happening here. And if the live stream that she did today is not evidence of that, I don't know what else will be. I do not want her harassed. I don't want any of you to go over there and troll her. Have have your comments, please. If you want to comment and, and talk to her, that's your prerogative. But I am in no way endorsing anyone to post her real name or to mess with her real life or to do any of that bullshit. I'm not down with that at all. And I don't wish her ill at all. But the fact is she's racist. And that sucks that we had to find out this way, but it is what it is. Oh God. Good. Good. eggs. got another comment here. Another heels quote, when will the impoverished stop the madness for themselves? The African, uh, oh, 
Okay, I'm going to take a minute. Okay. When will the impoverished stop the madness for themselves? The American Indians suffer the same consequences because they accepted reparations and land doled out by the government. I... <laughs> Heels, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Wow. Um, newsflash. We don't get money. We don't get this free money from the government that all these people think that we do. Where's my fucking check? I haven't ever gotten one. I pay for my own shit. I'm, I'm not even, I am not even going to address this right now. This is, fuck you heels and the heels that you walked in on for real. <laughs> I cannot believe you. Wow. And you don't have the balls to say this shit to my face. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, I I wish that you had the balls to say it to my face. I wish you did. I would probably think slightly better of you. I'm good. I, I don't, obviously, I'm not a fan of, you know, like, I, I don't, this is not meant to go harass or, or threaten or anything like that. That is not what this is for. We can use our words like big kids, you know, like, like adults, but I don't, I don't stand with that. I, I never will. They're, they're, you won't get me to. Mm -mm. Right. I'm not the same person today as I was yesterday. Exactly, Melanie. Exactly. Yeah. That's all she had to say, but wouldn't respond to it. Well, not all she would have to say, but yeah, exactly. Brick with eyes, tell heels about homesteading for the whites. Dumb. <laughs> I mean, I can't. Like, that's so, that's so stupid. Like, how can you? Okay. All right. It's very embarrassing. It's very fucking embarrassing for her. Definitely for her. No one can judge a past, but being racist is another thing. And then doubling down on it is another thing. She doubled down. She did. Mm -hmm. Can someone tell me where this went down today um, on Deets? Deets on the streets. Um, she had a panel about it. Um, good egg. Could you do me a really big favor? Could you actually send me the actual link to that particular blog post where you found that quote? Because I thought I had read everything, but I must have missed a couple. Um, if you could do that, email it, DM me, whatever. That would be fantastic. Thank you. Stitching with the sister lies. <laughs> Welcome to Dumpster Fire. Thank you so much. Today in the chat was, whew, I think the live stream is actually still going, but they're talking about the whole TM and chasing thing right now. Um, oh, the blog is locked again. Wow. So now we're going to lock up the blog. Wow. Okay, great. Yes, I would love to get those screenshots. Thank you. I have screenshots, but I just got locked out. Oh, 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 heels. Is this live stream too difficult for your sensitive feelings now? So you get to have a blog saying all of this fuck shit, but you can't handle it when people call you out. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Let me, let me just see here. Wow. This blog is open to inviters, reader, invited readers only. It doesn't look like you have been invited to read this blog. If you think this is a mistake, you might want to contact the blog author and request an invitation. Wow. You really fucking did block it down. Wow, okay. It's okay, girl, because people got screenshots. It's okay. I got some more screenshots. We can show that if since you want to lock it down. That's not a problem. Hmm. Let's see. This one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this was another blog post I took a screenshot of. That's no problem, boo. I got you. I got you. So this blog post was called Black Life is Not Valued in America. And she gets really um, indignant in this one. 
So in this one, she, um, let's see. This is, uh, she names a bunch of people in here. She says, white supremacy teaches us that white men are at the top of the spectrum and black folks are at the bottom. Evidence of this comes into play when we see images of white men as God. White supremacy thinking teaches us that the lives of people of color are not of value. People of color include Asian, Latino, Mexican, Pacific Islander, and Native American. White supremacy is something that we can internalize ourselves so that if a black person comes to our door, we are more fearful to him than a white person. Then she says, white supremacy conditions us to believe that black bodies are dangerous. It's played out in the media and the news every day. She was quoting somebody there. And then she says, now these are her words. Whose fault is that? Question mark. Seriously, dot, dot, dot. I could post videos like the above for days and never get the end, never get to the end of black people portraying themselves as anything but in a good light. Are white people somehow responsible for this? Or is it meaningless because as a friend said to me today, blacks don't expect much out of their own race, dot, dot, dot. They do, however, expect more out of white people, dot, dot, dot. So much more. In fact, that it becomes front page news if we act the same ridiculous way. Wow. Another thing that I guess she was trying to hide. It's funny, right? Because like if you had nothing to hide and you were um, sorry for what you did and you were willing to face it, you wouldn't have locked your blog down like a fucking coward heels. Thank you of the good Nanya. Please send that to me. I would really like to read it. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. That's not all. She goes on to say, um, why do blacks keep punching a guy after a guy is down? She says, why do blacks keep punching after a guy is down? Most white street fighters don't do that. Sucker punching also a black thing. Why are blacks not held to the same standard of accountability and humanity as whites? Bitch, you're fucking racist. Racist as fuck. Damn. You should probably start hanging out with Bullhorn Betty. You guys have very similar views about people of color. But even Betty is not stupid enough to write a blog about it. Oh my God, <laughs> fucking dumb. Mr. Heartland's Tales of History, famous burglars like your name. Thank you so much. Everything that happens in the dark always comes to the light, don't it? Yep. Hmm. So interesting. So this is what she was defending in Deet's chat. This is what she was defending today on her live stream. I'm with Nunya on this. If you think that this is okay, I am perfectly fine with you unsubbing for my channel. I don't want any of this bullshit in my chat. Again, I go back to the part where she's always talking about, oh, it's not a race thing. I was only writing about Ben Crump. How is this about Ben Crump? insulted 50% of the population of this country. Wow, way to go. Way to go. Thank you. I appreciate that. Cool. Let me just open that up. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely going to be um, reading through this. I guess I must have missed this page. Thank you. I appreciate that. Wow. Okay. Thank you. I see the, um, the, um, the emails coming in. Thank you. You did, Deets. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Yep. 
Wow. Okay. Yeah. So that's what she had to say about that. Hmm. So I just decided to hop on real quick, but yeah, yeah, no, mm -mm. for real though. And I'm asking, honestly, do you, do you think a racist can become unracist? It's not like you were kind of an asshole and changed. That's deep rooted. So here's the thing, true crime time. I know people, <clears throat> I know people who lacked education lacked experience. They grew up in this small town and this is what they were taught. And when they started to um, meet people of color, get to know people of color, um, ask questions of what they were told before and versus what they knew now. Um, yeah, they, they did. They, their eyes were open. They, they became educated in the fact that like people are people after all, you know, and I agree. I, again, I repeat the fact that people can change. Absolutely. But that is not what this is. Um, this is far worse than I thought it was initially. Uh, same. Because, I mean, the more I read the blog, the more disgusted I am. For real. Peggy, thank you so much. Thank you for exposing finger in the air. I like that. It's Randy's life. Thank you so much. Heels, you are racist. Wow. Thank you, Burnt Toast. Uh, if, if you guys hadn't also called it out, like this, this is one of those things that even though you guys are not from the locale community that I come from on here, we all are kind of in, intermingling. Like there's all kinds of different communities in my chat. And it's really nice to see that people can put their differences aside for other petty things and call out something that really is in need of being called out. KB Bells, gifted five memberships. Thank you. I appreciate that. Calamity Jade, she's living and she is, she's a living cyber hate crime. Hmm. Yeah. Says we depend on JLR and can't sleuth on our own, please. Right. I'm like Again, that jerks video, the people who did it went on Deet's panel you're free to go there and watch. Again, I'll post the link when we're done. They talked about how they initially did not believe because again, JLR has zero credibility. So they did their own independent research. And I'm glad that they did because if it doesn't come from somebody who's doing independent research that does not have a credibility issue, people are more likely to listen. And once again, even if people did want to click on the blog, it was invite only, which it apparently is again now. KB investigates. This is beyond devastating. It's really, really fucked up. I really wish I would have realized it's it was her sooner, but I don't play, I pay attention to JLR. I mean, right? The thing is, is that you think about how she conducted herself on all these people's panels, how she went about posting content. It was like Jackal and Hyde. It was a completely different person. There was nothing about her behavior on people's panels. There was nothing about her content on her channel that I saw that would even make me think that any of this was even remotely true. Like I'm still processing it myself thinking, oh, oh my God, like she actually did post this stuff. Thank you. Keeping it real. Yeah. Uh, Ben dreaming. Welcome to the dumpster fire. Thank you. Um, why did she want you on the panel tonight? Uh, no idea. No idea. She started off by trying to blame me for why she hasn't been honest. And I've already discussed that earlier in this live. And that's complete nonsense. Um, Katie, member for 11 months. Thank you so much. This is the first time JLR was right out of hundreds. Yep. Broken clock is right. <laughs> Eventually. Right. And even to this day, I would still say if anything came from him, I, there's no way that I would believe it. I would want somebody else to independently research it for themselves. I was Jess. Welcome to the dumpster fire. I appreciate that. She was saying the lead jerk isn't even American and has no say. That's ridiculous. Who cares where she's from? If her research is spot on, who cares? That is, I can't believe she said that. That's ridiculous. 
Uh, follow Heels Money Trail. See who she supports. I have I don't, I have no idea. She her YouTube channel was never monetized, but as far as her blog, I'm hearing all kinds of different things, and I can't confirm any of it, so I'm not going to speak on it. I think she was scared that Burnt Toast was going live, knew it was going to be bad, and went live to cause a distraction so people wouldn't watch. <laughs> yeah. How's that working for you? She even called you her good friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. After she called me a fucking liar, and then she says that shit about, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now I really do believe that she was using me and others as a token. So she can go fuck herself. We thank you so much. Heels finished her stream stating that as some of us are not American, we don't have the right to an opinion. Oh, racism is still racism. We do not support liars, racists, and exploitation of victims. I fully agree. Yeah, um, that is a ridiculous statement, Heels. Who cares what country someone is from? If they're bringing actual receipts and making a video that is irrefutable, I don't care if they're an alien from Mars. It's the content that I'm looking at. I don't care where they're from. But but way to go, Heels. I mean, <laughs> tell me you're a racist without telling me you're a racist. Um, ran out of space, called you her good friend, and then proceeded to blame you for her actions. Well, yeah, right. Right. I agree, Good Egg. Uh, this is not ignorance at all. This is intentional and sustained study, consumption, and regurgitation of far-right white supremacist internet media. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, yeah. Those posts are bad. Those posts are very bad. And the fact that she's locked her blog down, and I know why she did it, because she heard me say in this stream, and there's other people like Dietz and so many other people that are posting the link so that other people can go look at it and read it for themselves and make up their own mind. She doesn't want people to be able to do that. So she shut it down, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay, boo. In fact, I got you. I will just start posting the screenshots on my Twitter and on my community tab. That way, I don't care who you are, sub, not sub, everybody will be able to read it. And I'll make sure to tag you. How about that? Just to make sure that I give credit to the original writer. Emily, thank you so much. Welcome to the dumpster fire. I appreciate that. Yeah, I told you this. I mean, y'all you you all see my name tonight. It's Petty Toast. And so, yeah, I do believe that that is possible. I do believe that. But, um, yeah, but unfortunately, it doesn't appear that that's going to happen. So, there's that. Yeah. Oh, I, you, I don't, you know, Jersey, I appreciate it, but I don't, I don't need a sorry for me. I'm disappointed. Yes. But I feel bad for the people who are actually hurting today that were friends that were standing by her that have, they've been her friends, like real life friends. And they were lied to. They absolutely were lied to for the last 48 hours, one week, two weeks, however long it's been. I don't know. Well, for me, it's been a, quite a while. <laughs> it's been quite a while. Um, McCall, welcome to the Dumpster Fire. Thank you so much. She's racist and xenophobe too. Hmm. Kind of speaks for itself. Uh, kindness and grace, member for five months. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. BT, got you, boo. Need that for a ringtone. <laughs> um, wow, she shut it down. Oh, she sure enough did. She shut it down. And, I, and I'm hearing from people that have tried to get into it in the past is that's what she's been doing off and on for a very long time. She'll put it up. And then the second that she finds that that people are getting into it, then she shuts it down. And so it makes it very difficult for people to go there and verify what it, what it is that people are saying that she's posting. But she should have known the fact that before I go live on someone, Please know that all the screenshots that I'm showing, I already have a copy of. The videos that I'm playing, I already have a copy of. So just in case people try to dirty delete shit, which they do all the time, I will have a copy of regardless. I'm interested in reading other writings from her. Curious what's 
on web sleuths. I'm very curious to read that myself, Dietz. It's now making me wonder why that website is, it makes me wonder. And that's just what I'm going to say about that. Oh, wow. She's vile. Uh, she sure enough is. I mean, <sighs> so um, I think there was one more. I wanted to show you. So where is it? Okay. Oh, that's just something else I already showed you guys. Um, Haley hopes, <clears throat> please post them. I was reading when it got when it got locked. Yes, <clears throat> excuse me. I will definitely be posting those because that's messed up. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. But again, um, for those of you that came in later, I will once again show, if I can find it, show the email where um, she admitted it. This was the email. As you can set, see, it says Wednesday, July 19th. Okay, that was yesterday. She says, here's more on those autopsy photos and how I leaked them. Please read so that you might actually see the reason why some had to show the media and Ben Crump was blatantly lying. It's been so long I had forgotten that I linked to J Jackie Johnson's Twitter post instead of posting this one autopsy photo in the blog. Um, do y'all know who Jackie Johnson is? If, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But it's my understanding that that's the mom of the child that was killed. Why is she bothering the mom on Twitter? about this. And then of course, there's the email that she sent to the glare, which the glare has already showed on his channel. This was from September 2022. She says, I heard you say a couple of times that autopsy of minors aren't released, but they actually are. Different states have different laws, but in California, they are a public record unless a child is murdered and the family requests records to be sealed. Here's an example of the case. And then there's a link. Then she says, I was actually given autopsy photos in a couple of cases when I FOIA'd the autopsy and death scene video of a minor. Which is something else that she lied about tonight and in Deet's chat last night. Trying to say that she's never requested those things. Um, why did you write this? Just letting you know, hope all is well. And of course the glare was like, uh, he said, I can almost guarantee that her family will request them to be sealed. Now she thought that it was a flex by saying, well, wait a second, guys, this is out of context. I wasn't even talking about the Kendrick case. I was talking about Kylie Rodney's case. It doesn't matter heels. You are talking about getting the FOIA, you're doing a FOIA request to get an autopsy and death video scene of a minor child. Heels. We just called out all these other people for doing the same thing. Again, why in the fuck would you think that you were going to get a pass? I don't care who you are. This is wrong. It's weird. It's gross. It's creepy. Stop it. Just stop it. There is no reason that you need to see the body of a dead child when you're just some fucking YouTuber. Okay? Thank you, Queen. Queen says, uh, so she flat out lied to me when I asked her if she was the one that leaked them. She said no, that the lawyer leaked them. I am so upset and disappointed. Thank you, Queen. That's Queen B. Queen B has not been able to really speak on this because Heels has been part of that lawsuit that Queen is also in. Queen's lawyer told her basically not to go live and talk about this. So that's why Queen has not spoken on this. But Queen B, I guess, can speak on it now because Heels is officially out of the lawsuit. So, but please respect the fact that if Queen says that her lawyer can't say something, that 
Her lawyer has told her not to say something. Please respect that. <clears throat> uh, Twist, welcome to the dumpster fire. I appreciate that. Pomegranate, welcome to the dumpster fire. I appreciate that. Uh, we, uh, Web Sleuths, does not endorse any racist or political stance. Heels tried to abuse the credibility of Web Sleuths. She asked to leave and encouraged her to do her own thing years ago. That is very interesting. I did not know that. Okay, so I will definitely be <clears throat> um, remembering that. So, so Web Sleuths basically, okay, wow. So you said Heels tried to abuse the credibility of Web Sleuths. She was asked to leave and encouraged to do her own thing years ago. Huh. Okay, wow. Queen B says, angry, upset, and disappointed is an understatement, Ban. I mean, yeah. I'm again, I'm still kind of processing this. <clears throat> so I apologize if I'm rambling. Heels sided with Mallory after she distanced herself from MGL, and that was after Mallory tried to break into St. Jude Hospital. That is correct. And after Mallory said all that racist shit. Hmm. Interesting. Um... <clears throat> Okay. Again, regardless of whether you know who heals in the air or anyone else is in real life, please don't post their legal government name in here. Okay, just stop. I've already I've already spoke on that. That is not this kind of chat. <laughs> that is not no, we don't do that here. Web Sleuth is a very upstanding channel and they have worked extremely hard and it's even solve the case before Trisha keeps everything above board. Yeah. And that's concerning to me because heels has told me about this person named Trisha and has spoken about her as if they're besties. And, um, now that I'm finding out, I mean, if this is true, that web sleuths basically told her to kick rocks years ago, uh, that's interesting. Thank you, Tiger Talks. I appreciate that. <laughs> My legal name is Burnt Toast Jr. <laughs> Apparently, I'm like five different people. It's hilarious. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Forgotten Whispers, member for one month. Thank you. I appreciate that. Her behavior on panel with Glare was very odd and off-putting to me. No words um, putting to me uh, months ago. Yeah. I mean, I have a feeling that if we go back and watch her interactions with people on panels, I'm wondering if we're going to, in retrospect, see red flags. I mean, I don't know. I never saw them. But then again, I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't really on panels a lot with her. I was on panels with her some of the times, but not a whole lot. <clears throat> But, um, but yeah, I mean, I think I've pretty much showed everything that I can show. I appreciate everybody in the chat um, being respectful and having civil discourse. Uh, do you know anything about the backup channel and her legal name? Okay, yeah, I I'll address that too. So there is somebody, and I have my suspicions, who has created a sock account channel using Heel's actual legal name and using that channel to dox all kinds of random people, people that they claim is me, people that they're claiming is various other people. It's all lies. It's all bullshit. That, as far as I know, is not connected to Heel's. I see. I have not seen any kind of evidence that proves that that's her. Okay. Those channels have been around for a while there's other channels that have, um, they have cloned my account and I've had that taken down. Um, somebody tried to have a fake cash app for queen. I mean, people are doing all kinds of fuck shit. I just think that it's somebody who's just creating a fake account just to be an asshole. 
I don't think that that's heels. I don't see any evidence of that. Is Web Sleuths the YouTube and Web Sleuths the website the same people? I have no idea. I don't know really anything about them. Oh, no, it's it's all good, Drone Pilot. It's all fine. I was just thinking about it, and there's some red flags. I tried to push them off, brush them off as ignorance or just being old. I mean, maybe if I had had time to watch all these panels that she was going on, maybe I would have seen red flags too, but I just, I, I just don't have the time, you know? So I'm sure that there was a lot that I missed. That girl, James, thank you so much. The visceral reaction I'm having right now, this is just killing me and my heart right now. So grateful for people like you with Integrity Toast. I hope every one of these families and their dead children haunt her as she tries to sleep every night. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I mean, if, like like I said, I don't know anything about web, web, web sleuths, but if I'm being told that they distanced themselves from heels a long time ago, then I, I'm glad to hear that. Like, I, please, like, you know, I don't want anybody to go over to web sleuths and like accuse them of things just because heels is claiming to be cool with them. So just keep in mind that if heels is lying about all of this shit, she's more than likely lying about pretty much everything. Thank you. Good on you. <laughs> I appreciate your video. She hadn't been going on panels often at all. She just started to do that not long ago. Yeah, that is true. That is very true. Because at first she didn't, she didn't even talk in her videos at all. So, yeah, I have heard that Web Sleuths and Trish is awesome. So don't don't think that I am disparaging their name at all. I'm again. I mean, Heels is probably just randomly name dropping at this point just to have some credibility. She used web sleuths for clout. I I mean, it kind of sounds like she did. Again, please do not take my word for it. I don't know the website, so you're going to have to do your own research. <laughs> yeah, just like Uni did, for real. The uh, Trisha only bought the website and channel a few years ago. See, I don't even know the history of that at all. So, yeah. Yeah, from all from all I know is that she does a great job. And I don't think that she would... Knowing all of this that we exposed tonight, I highly doubt someone like that is going to think that this is okay. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't see that. Um, but anyway, guys, um, I want to thank you for listening. Um, again, if I missed your super chat or I missed your comment, please contact me and I'll be absolutely um, willing to talk to you. Um, my comment section, just like my chat, is open. It's civil discourse. Okay, so there may be some people that are commenting that you don't like. Tough. That's how I run my channel. As long as you're not break breaking basic rules, anybody can comment here. Even if you disagree with me or disagree with other people, you know, and once again, you may know someone's legal name, but don't be fucking using it. Use their YouTube channel name or the channel or the name that they use for like their branding and stuff. Okay. So, you know, just don't be, don't be a jerk about it, <laughs> but uh, thank you so much. And I appreciate you guys being here. Um, yeah. Um, I will owe it. And I'll be putting all the links to everything in the description that the second that this is done. So, uh, so yeah, I guess when the website is open again, uh, I'll still post the link, but, um, when she decides to open again, you'll be able to get in there and read it some more. Um, heels, uh, I think you're a coward. I think you're a racist. I think you're a manipulator. Um, you're a fucking liar. Um, if you knew what's good for you, you would open that blog and allow people to read things. Um, cause if you're going to try to paint me as a liar and other people as a liar, it's not going to work because people have screenshots, boo. And I'm going to be posting those as well. So anyway, guys, have a great night. I'll play you out with a song 
And uh, you guys have a great night. Later. So I'm in a closet somewhere. A lot of what I'm talking about today is coming um <laughs> cream on my back. <sighs> and this cream. Cream on my back. <sighs> cream that I'm taking. Cream on my back. <sighs> and this cream. Cream on my back. <sighs> cream that I'm taking. And it's making me very tired. So, you know, um, uh, hello everyone, and welcome to our uh, GTV. I'm Jimmy, and your host. No, 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 no. Balls. Your sprint's probably gonna be strong enough. Creams that I'm taking. No, 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 no. Creams that I'm taking. No, 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 no. Creams that I'm taking. Cream on me when I came out the closet. You know what I mean? G man, G man's finally coming out the closet or something like that. And it's making me very tired, so. I swallow cum. You can sing it! Cream on my back. <sighs> okay? okay? And it's cream. I swallow cum. Cream on my back. <sighs> cream that I'm taking. You can sing it! Cream on my back. <sighs> okay? okay? And it's cream. I swallow cum. Cream on my back. <sighs> cream that I'm taking. And it's making me very tired, so. I can literally prove right now that I'm as straight as a doorknob. And I'm gonna get what's coming to me. No! Creams that I'm taking. No, 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 no. Creams that I'm taking. No, 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 no. Creams that I'm taking. G Man got cream on him coming out the closet. I swallow I, I, cum. Cream on my back. <sighs> okay, okay. And this cream. I swallow I, I, cum. Cream on my back. <sighs> cream that I'm taking. You can sing it. Cream on my back. <sighs> okay, okay. And this cream. I swallow cum. cum. Cream on my back. <sighs> cream that I'm taking. You know what I mean? You are revealing to yourself and to a lot of the world out there who and what you really are. So I'm in the closet somewhere.